what's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, the Neutrory Mare monsters, the Link monsters are already on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, so let's try them out. Um, early this morning, like more support was revealed, like a new monster reborn for example, um, a World Chalice counter trap, I believe a new Solemn Judgment for World Chalice as well, the field spell for this particular archetype, the Troy Mare, like you can arrange or switch monster zones, definitely appropriate for this new archetype, but um, initially I wanted to try out uh, at least my first idea to you know feature these new link monsters was the, the upgrade of the grinder golem loop with blue eyes so the, the video will be split in two parts first of all plants you know ocg plants quite popular in the current ocg format not the best deck but again one of those top decks in the ocg and blue eyes i will leave some time stamps in the video so feel free to skip but first of all here plant link row i can call it like that a lot of engines in one deck but it's it's frightening uh, effective like like holy um Armageddon Knight, uh, the Strudo, for example, the Grinder Golem, of, but yeah, Grinder Golem is definitely not needed, as you will see in a couple of moments, to replace ready with and without a Grinder Golem establishing extra link, featuring the new Troymare monsters. Ibli is also in here, you can establish like a very nice lock with her and her monster reborn effect, like the Breed Dragon effect is definitely welcome, but again, a lot of engines here in the deck, but yeah, let's see a couple of example replays. Alright, uh, let's start off with Plants, the Plants version. The first replay will feature Grinder Golem again, the upgrade of the Grinder Golem loop, thanks to Cerberus, for example, and then, you know, you can eventually keep your Firewall Dragon life with its effect, since Cerberus can potentially pop your opponent's Grinder Golem. Pretty much the same, right? And that's something, well, personally, this is not really my deck. I don't really, I'm not really into these Link shenanigans decks, like, for example, World Chalice Plant Link Row from the OCG. Uh, but anyway, like, just showcasing the possibilities. And I like, well, the, 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 it's just the things that, that, that there are so many options, so many decision trees you have. Like, okay, you can use Goblin here to get the extra normal summon. Then again, no markers are, at least no zones are free where your Goblin is pointing at with its markers. So, um, have three co-linked uh, monsters here with Firewall Dragons. So, get three monsters back. The Grinder Golem, the uh, Edge Blossom, I believe, and something else. Or, not really sure which uh, uh, monster. But anyway, again, the point is eventually get Ibli on board as well to well it yeah you know, I believe in this case I used Goblin to go for that one monster link into Mermaid and you know Mermaid like this card to special summon any Troy Man monster from your deck so special summoning Ibli and you know when Ibli is used or sent to the graveyard you can special summon it to your opponent's side of the field in defense position and Ibli has that nice effect that when it's like on the field the only special summon you can do is a Link Summon, but again, the beautiful part here of your Troy Mares is that it can easily, super easily set up extra Link, so again, use up both extra monster zones and, you know, pretty much lock your opponent out of the extra Link, so your opponent, the only special summon, yeah, the only special summon your opponent can do is Link Summon, but they can't go for the special summon, right, they, they can't go for the extra deck summon, and yeah, the beautiful part here is of your new Troy Mare monsters is that they're built in effects like from phoenix like from cerberus protect by battle protect by destruction by card effects and let's not forget i believe it's griffin that gives you uh, at least that gives both players the restriction that they cannot use like monster effects on the field unless that particular monsters uh, unless that particular monster is like linked to any other monster so like that's super super crazy you have like an established link lock i can call it like that you know extra link using both extra monster zones and on top of that like all of your monsters are like indestructible both by battle both by card effects like crazy crazy stuff guys you you need like a kaiju the ring dragon of ra to you know get rid of that particular lock um, anyway, the same but without Grinder Golem, and that's something that this uh, plant deck, for example, or like World Chalice, can definitely do without Grinder Golem. So again, for something like this deck, Grinder Golem is not needed. You can definitely drop that, uh, drop that, and uh, uh, like add in the Amaryllis FTK shenanigans. Like you know, you have like multiple options. Maybe go for extra link, get some link shenanigans going, or if you see the opportunity, go for the Topologic Amaryllis FTK. So that's all up to you, right? Um, but again, draw 5, <laughs> crazy stuff thanks to Unicorn, during the draw phase get those extra draw for each um, co-link I believe. Um, anyway, so this is the current decklist, but again feel free to leave suggestions, the decklist is not set, it's just to showcase the possibilities, right? 
the second list and that's where I initially started you know playing uh, at least making the new video is uh, I decided to use blue eyes with the grinder golem the first uh, duel will not be featuring but but again it's up to you if you want to watch it or not um, so yeah the first example here is I believe that my opponent gets to start yeah indeed uh, uh, yeah that's a, that's a, yeah desire is definitely going to edge blossom that but then then, then again that, that's definitely a good start double wisdom my magician um but yeah what i was saying for the list for the grinder golem i believe i mentioned already uh and I think I already mentioned it in the beginning, is again the regular grinder golem loop of, you know, Akashic, Security, Dragon, etc, etc. Thanks to these new Troymare monsters, it can definitely be upgraded, like going for Cerberus, for example, to pop one of your opponent's monsters, pop the grinder golem, and then, you know, you don't need to go for the second fire roll dragon, since, you know, most of the time it was needed to go for the second fire roll to bounce your opponent's grinder golem. You know, you don't want to give your opponent a 3000 free beat stick, but thanks Thanks to Cerberus, that's not needed anymore. And on top of that, you can keep a Firewall Dragon life to, for example, you know, get the hand trap back. Um, that, that's again up to you. But again, this was a good tool. Uh, go for that Spirit Dragon to uh, banish that uh, Chronograph spell cards and eventually clear the field from my opponent. But in this particular extra deck, there is like no. Uh, what is it called? I forgot the name. You know, the. the, the, the I believe it's like a, a rank. Um, 8 XC that pops like face-up cards, you know which one I mean, right? That eventually will upgrade itself to a Dark Matter Dragon. But again, his, um, yeah, Pendulum Zones were established, so nothing I can do about that. Titanic Galaxy is definitely not enough, and Ignister will deal with the Titanic Galaxy. So, eventually he's able to attack for a game. So another example, again, featuring Grinder Golem, right? Um, again, starting off with the same shenanigans. The reason why I picked Blue Eyes is that Blue Eyes is definitely one of those decks that can, uh, or at least that are not hindered by the discard cost of your, um, yeah, Troymare monsters. Like, you know, they can only trigger if you, like, discard a card. And discarding something like a Blue Eyes or a White Stone, for example, is definitely not a problem, right, for Blue Eyes. Um, using Akashic Magician, not really sure what I called here. I I believe Edge Blossom, um, well, it's it's fine though, milling four free cards, potentially milling like a white stone, definitely very, very nice. Uh, going for Link Rebos, and that, that gives me two uh, different monsters. Go for Cerberus to, you know, pop one of my opponent's monsters, and I believe get a draw in the process due to the co-link with Firewall Dragon, and I'll go for the second Firewall Dragon, which is basically free again to get something back from my graveyard. I went for Maxi, but, you know, you could uh, also have gone for what is it called the griffin do you know pretty much stun like um yeah monster effects on blow both players sides uh, of the field uh, unless of course like the monster is linked to any link monster but in this case i knew the opponent was playing pendulum magician so that's why i went for maxi to get a lot of draws if he would you know go in um, the Ignister definitely not a problem, right? Still have Blue Eyes, Spirit, and a lot of options ready for next turn. Um, yeah, White. Yeah, the, the, the Chronograph Trap card definitely is not going to help him uh, get some more special summons. Yeah, White uh, Spirit Dragon will eventually pop that Chronograph Trap card, and eventually I will be able to attack for a game. So again, the, the upgrade of the Grinder Golem loop definitely, def well, I, I, I don't need to explain it, right? It's it's kind of uh, old, but uh, then again, yeah, something like uh, that that's not featured here in this video is Gofu again. Both Gofu and Grinder Golems, there's, I believe, a, a Reddit, uh, a topic on, this, on, on Reddit, on the Yu-Gi-Oh's uh, Reddit, where, like, a lot of combos are featured featuring Grinder Golem and Gofu as well with these new Troy Mare monsters, and it's just crazy which boards you can pump out featuring both monsters. But then again, by the time you're getting this, Grinder, Grinder Golem might be X'd or might be limited or might be banned. Same for Gofu, right? But again, it's just to showcase, like, the possibilities what you can do these days. So pretty much the same again, go for Cerberus, popping the Grinder Golem. Um, yeah, again, pretty much the same, right? But I believe I'm eventually going to end with Titanic Galaxy this time. Then again, going for the Spirit Dragon might have been the better option. Going for the level 9 Synchro Play might have been the better option. Griffin, getting back something from my graveyard, either any spell or trap, and set it to my back row, setting the warning. Definitely very crucial. Um, here, this is definitely a problem, I thought, you know, with the Poison Magic, 
position uh, and that's why I negated the activation and equipped it to Titanic Galaxy but not really sure if it like misses Steining? Um, him not being able to activate the Poison Magician here, unless I'm missing something. Again, my apologies if I missed something here. But, uh, you know, um, Griffin definitely is not going to negate the uh, Electromite since it's linked with Firewall Dragon. So I'm going to warning that and here I can just attack for the game. So my conclusion here is that these new Troymare archetypes, uh, World Chalice is definitely on the list to play test them with. Um, it's much more interesting, right, uh, compared to uh, Griner Golem. Or, or, you know, Gofu shenanigans. But definitely stay tuned for that as the new cards um, will be out on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. I'll be testing them as well. Um, okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them sign out. Peace.